Hi everyone, in this video I'll be discussing about bypassing paywalls for Firefox. A paywall is a method of restricting access to content with a purchase or a paid subscription, especially for news sites. When visiting a site, there are generally overlays on top of the content that prevent you from being able to see it. The extension Bypass Paywalls Clean, available in Chrome as well as Firefox, can block these overlays, or you can disable certain things such as JavaScript so you can see the content. Is it legal? The extension was available on Mozilla until early this year, then it was removed. There's no official statement on why it was removed from what I'm aware of, but it's still available to get and is still signed and checked for security by Mozilla. There's also sites such as archive.today that act as a time capsule for websites. It takes a snapshot of a website so you can view. You put in the URL you want to visit and you can see it as it takes a snapshot of that site. The latest snapshot may not be as recent, but I find it's good considering the intent was to be a time capsule. So we put in New York Times. And I just click on a link. And there's no paywall. And if we go to the New York Times website, click continue, and we click on that same link. And yep, it comes up with a pop-up here, create a free account, log in, gain access to limited free articles, news alerts, select newsletters, podcasts, and some daily games. So getting back to bypass paywalls clean, if you're in the paywall industry and want to know more about it, the source code is available on Git. It will be a back and forth scenario. The paywall industry will implement new measures, which will work. Bypass paywalls clean will then have to update. Then the paywall industry will again put further updates. The bypass will have to do the same and on and on. So I'm going to go and install it. Create a new tab here. Bypass paywalls clean for Firefox. First link here, GitLab. And this gives a description here, bypass paywall is clean. And here's the installation, download the XPI file. Okay, and it's in our downloads folder. Now what I'm gonna do is go to the extensions, manage extensions, click on the wheel here, install add-on from file. Search for your bypass paywalls clean latest that I downloaded. Double click on it, hit add, and it was added. Okay. And in here, it gives the new release version 3.2.8, the change log, and here are some sites that it is performing the bypassing on and the blocking general paywall scripts. And so you can modify if you want to, but I find the default works for me. So I'm gonna do a comparison before and after. And I'll use an incognito window and load it up as by default extensions are not enabled in incognito mode. So it will be a good test. Open up a private window, go to the athletic. And let's say I click on a link. And yep, so there's the pop-up here, introductory offer, and it's preventing me from seeing any content. Now, if I go back to my original Firefox browser here and I'll open up the athletic. Okay, and I'll go to that same link. All right, and I'm able to see the content and there's no pop-ups that come up here. All the content is here. So bypass paywalls clean is working. So that's it. That's a quick overview of bypass paywalls clean. And if you're unsure or don't want to use it, you can still use archive.today. I hope this was helpful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.